And do you think, um, do you think young people want to be trustees? Obviously, you, your example is you wanted to learn everything about the charity sector and understand it and get involved. Do you think other young people want to be trustees? Yes, definitely. And I think Neil touched on that earlier when he said that they, uh, the NSPCC received so many applications for their young trustee roles. Um, I think, first of all, that's an example of when we give young people the opportunity, uh, we will see really great response. Um, if we also consider the, the younger generations, um, so we know that young people um, at the moment, they really want to take action and they want to make a change. And we're seeing that, um, that change in attitudes uh, with younger people. So they are more likely to take action. So there is no reason to think why they wouldn't want to be young trustees. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, and what, what, what have you learned through your journey, do you think? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. So I... I've been on a lot of youth forums and I'd also had the privilege of sitting on some other boards as well, uh, being a governor for Great Ormond Street Hospital. But uh, being a trustee really helped me build my confidence. Um, even though I was uh, still a professional quite early on in my career, I felt like I didn't um, necessarily lack, um, I didn't really have the skills that I needed to sit in a boardroom, um, which was something that I learned in my role at Friends and Colitis UK. It gave me the confidence to speak out. Um, I've learned so much about charity governance. Um, it's been really, really great. But definitely, I would say that the confidence I have in myself now going forward has um, been the biggest impact. Yeah. Brilliant, that, that's fabulous. Have you found your other um, board members supportive in that journey? Yeah, definitely. Um, we There was a few trustees that joined uh, alongside me as well. So there was four new trustees all at one point. Um, so we had a really great introduction process. We uh, found all about the charity and we got to meet the staff and hear about the amazing projects they're doing. Um, so that was a really great way of us finding more about, more about the organisation. Um, and then we've see, received really great support. Um, when I joined the chair, Sue Cherry said that um, they didn't expect me to have all the experience, but it was something that they wanted to sort of guide me through. Uh, and they did that with their other trustees as well, because they made a point of recruiting people based on the value that they can add, not based on the previous experience they previously had. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant, fabulous. Um, I love that, the idea of recruiting on potential rather than proved experience. 